Hey everyone, it's Aries JJ with you. Today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. I've been getting a lot of people asking lately how I get the color in my coils that I post on Instagram and Facebook. Kind of like these. Well, the process is a process called color pulsing or color tempering. There's a couple different names for it. But the general premise behind it is the slow and gradual buildup of oxidation levels across the metal. Now, you generally achieve this by applying heat to your metal. It works best with a high quality stainless steel like 316L, 317L, etc. But it can also be accomplished with a high quality Nichrome 80. But by going through a low and slow process of applying heat to your coil, uh, that coloration starts to appear and it generally goes in the range of your golds to your purples and your blues to a lighter blue and then finally back to silver that you're familiar with. When done properly and when stopped properly, you can get those brilliant Instagram ready shots. Now it's important that you clean your coil thoroughly after you have wrapped it and got it mounted because any skin oil that is left on the coil will impede this process. Now, I'm gonna do this live and uncut, unedited the whole nine yards. So uh, you guys can see exactly how the process goes. So let's go ahead and pop on over to the build cam where I've got everything set up and ready to go and we'll see how this works out. So everything's in focus here. Now I've got my top cap on it to keep any dust from building up on it, but uh, we're going to be starting off, this is a 0.19 coil, it's a fused Clapton wrapped in stainless steel at 40 watts. So I'm going to take this top cap off very carefully. And we can see, like I said, just a standard fused Clapton, nothing special. Some, uh, some coils color pulse better than others, uh, it's just a matter of playing around with it. But uh, now, when I start initially pulsing this, you may see a little steam and that's because there's still a little bit of moisture on it from washing the coils. But we're just gonna color pulse it slowly and you can see that that one pulsed really, really quick compared to the rest of them. I'm actually gonna turn this down just a little bit to about 33, let's go ahead and pop it to 33 watts, lock it in. But we're just gonna gradually pulse this in really slow and as you're going through, you're going to want to work out any uh, invisible hot spots that are in this coil because it'll create like a starburst effect from getting too hot too quick. So as we go through, you can see that it's already starting to shift that nice gold color, which my camera's not going to pick up real well, but you can see it pretty good right next to that blue wrap. And we're just going to continue on. And the purple should start coming. Here they come. Okay, so we can see the purples have, have started to appear. The next color shift that's going to take place is going to be a dark, brilliant blue. And we're going to keep working out these little hot spots. Now, don't be uh, freaked out if you see one color or one side color faster than the other. It's entirely normal. It's just uh, the, the way things work when, when doing this process. But we're just going to keep applying heat slowly continuing to work out any hot spots that may exist in the coil itself. Remember to work both sides. And when you get the coloration that you like, stop and get your Instagram photos ready to go. So we're just gonna keep pulsing it. Oh, we've got a nice set of purples over here and you can see those blues are starting to form in on top of it. Keep going. The blues are starting to really pop on this side. And generally right about here is where I would stop and take my photograph and get that nice speckled coloration. See how the other side's coming along. Oh, come on, focus in. There we go. Okay, so we can see that we've got some gold marking going on. That's where we had a hot spot that didn't get worked out quite quick enough. And we can see that that third wrap from the left is already starting to turn that lighter blue. And that's about to color shift back to silver. But, uh, but yeah, this is how it works. Now, this camera is not the best for close-up work. But we're going to go ahead and color pulse it on through so you can see the natural progression of it. 
Now, if you get it bright red, you're generally going to lose your colors. You can already see that the, that down here is already starting to turn back to the general uh, silver that you see with stainless steel. I'm going to go ahead and balance this out so you can see it shift back. And there it goes. It's starting to shift all the way back to that silver color that we're used to seeing. And that's it. Once you've gone past the color range that you're looking for, there's no getting it back. You've got to start all over again. So once we get it through and we'll go ahead and get it balanced out. That one's burning just a little bit on the quick side. Hard to do this while wrapping my arms around a camera. Totally not used to that. Let's heat up just a little quick. And there we go, we're burning nice and even. And then we would just go through and let it cool off and uh, and wick it up and get it ready to go. But you can see that all that coloration, or well, almost all that coloration is completely gone back out of the coil and we're back to a normal colored coil. So uh, yeah, it's not a difficult process. Let's go ahead and pop back up to the face cam. There we go. So that's the short and sweet of it. It's just a matter of starting off with really low wattage and uh, using quick pulses letting it cool. I, I did it a, a little bit on the quick side just for time's sake, but with a little bit of practice, you can get it too. Remember, it's not the cigarettes you smoke, but rather the ones you don't smoke that count. I don't care if you're vaping a 0.1 or 10 ohm coil. As long as it's safe and it satisfies you, that's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, it's your vaping journey. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. I try to put out new videos every Monday at two o'clock Eastern time right here. Occasionally I'll pop out these little surprise videos. You never know. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. But with that being said, I'm going to cut on out of here. Enjoy your vaping journey, but do it safe.